Hi everyone, this is Lynn from Monday Journals and I'm going to be sharing today some traveler notebook inserts that I made. They are collaged and they are standard traveler's notebook size. Uh, each one was made either with Tim Holtz paper or um, there's a Prima version to a Prima uh, lavender it's called and uh, you'll see those. They are pretty much the same inside. They are uh, different papers but the papers are the same it's just uh, they might not be in the same order so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the outsides of each one but we're only gonna go through one of the inserts to look inside so there are six of them six different ones and let's take a look I'm gonna move these out of the way for now we'll take a look at this one uh, it is it has uh, Tim Holtz, these are the newest version of layers that he makes. They're, this one has trims and stamping and they have um, just different collage pieces on them. They also have a, each one has a clip on it. It's kind of a bronze colored clip and they have sewing on them. This one has a pocket in the inside. I'll zoom in a little bit. On the inside cover. Uh, this is the coordinating paper that I used on the outside corners and I got that idea from Kim White at Kim White 7. As you can see there are craft papers. This one's kind of a cool paper graph with lined on the back. This is a parchment paper. Here's a dictionary page. This is a vellum tea stain map page from an atlas I had. Tea stain paper, we've got music paper. There are 15 or 16 pages to each one of them. This is a flecked white paper. You can see the pretty flecks in it. This paper was from a, a paper, oh, they are, it's, it's kind of you rip up at the top. It's very pretty paper. It's eight and a half, eleven. I did have to cut it down, but it's very pretty on both sides. It's lined. And then on the inside of each one, they have hearts uh, or leaves or both, one or the other. And then this is just the back, right? The the same papers, but on the other side. So very simple junk journal style. Dictionary page, the other half of that. Some pretty, when I tea stain this one, I actually put some ink from my fountain pen. I kind of made blobs on it. Some This one had purple on it, kind of pretty. I love the paper. The plain paper is Daiso paper. I like that it's very smooth, it's uh, nice to write on, great for all, all sorts of pens, um, watercolor. Uh, each one will have a couple pieces of leftovers that I might have used for the outside and this paper. And in the back of this one, there are um, three pockets. You can put, I put washi tape in mine, but there's three pockets. And then the back has a couple of we have stamping throughout, and this one kind of is fun because the way I made it, I put the stamps of these birds along the back, around the front, and there's another image. Okay, so that's number one. And so these, I'm just going to show you what they look like on the insides and the covers not the full inside uh, flip through. This one has Tim Holtz, has paper doily that's been tea stained on it, has a couple of stamps, and this one has a pocket in the inside. The coordinating paper with this one is pretty flowered paper. The back has two pockets. And of course, all this is sewn and has um, one of the older Tim Holtz layers on it. So 
another one. This one has a trim on it. Uh, Tim Holtz layer, a stamp. On the inside, we have some SNG, or, yeah, SNH stamps. This one has a pocket, a doily. The three pockets in the back. And then the back looks like this. There's just a little bit of it's a stamp here as well, but uh, there's a layer there. It's kind of hard to see. Sorry, I don't you figure. I have the nursery behind me as tractors, and they are running right past my backyard. And this is a rose. This is on the Prima lavender paper. It has butterflies underneath it. a pocket in the inside, another layer, stamp, there's another layer that I've glued on there, that's a pocket, and then the back has a, a stamp, very pretty paper. Next one on the Prima Lavender paper, again you can see some Stamping at the top. There's a stamp to go with that one. Has lace and a trim. It's a butterfly with a doily at the bottom. And the inside has two pockets on the inside. Little lace. The coordinating paper here uh, are telephones. I like how that one kind of went along with the, the the images on it. Just kind of fun. This one has no back pockets in it, a little different, but it does have a stamp. You can put your pictures on it or whatever. That'd be fun. This one actually has nothing extra on it. But this one's nice and thin um, for those who don't like maybe a lot of bulk in their planners. Okay. And the last one is the one that has some extra trims on it. Some of the um, cheesecloth that's tea stained, another trim. There's a doily underneath it. This one has the lace on the edge. On the inside, there's a pocket. This is the coordinating paper. I really like this. I don't know why. Just, just I like that. Pretty. And then the back here has two pockets. And um, I did put a stamp on the back of this one. This has such pretty paper, and, and this one's thinner too. It's not as thick as some of the others. So to use these, let's see, I'm playing with the sun here. Uh, you would get your traveler's notebook, of course. Let's bring it on just a little bit. And when you've used up one of your inserts, you will find the center and remove it. I'm getting ready for 2020 here. And you take one of the inserts, open it into the center, and just pop that right in there. I love these. They, they're so nice. The, uh, for me, they last about a, a month. There you go. All pretty and ready to go. So um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave it below. I'm gonna, I, these are one of my favorite things to make because I use them in my planners and um, in my journals. My journaling is done on these blank uh, journals. So if you have any questions, like I said, just leave them below. And if you like what you see, subscribe. I do make regular size Scholar Ledger journals too. You can check those out in my Etsy shop. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.